Hi everybody, welcome to your weekly reading for November 18th through the 24th of 2019. Can you believe it? We're almost coming to the end of November and almost December and almost 2020. Like time, time is an illusion, but man, it's flying at this point. Um, let's take a look at what's going on at the beginning of the week, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday and the weekend. I'm sorry I'm getting this video out a little bit late. Um, I've been tired lately. And although people have been telling me that I am nonstop, um, I'm still somehow so tired. It looks like I have a lot of energy, but I am in internally feeling the burn, as they say. Um, beginning of the week, guys, temperance with the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so for some of you, I feel like um, patience is a virtue. Okay, so there's going to be an offer or you're probably waiting for an offer. And I also feel like whether this is in a career or in a love relationships, take the messages as they resonate. Um, it's being divinely orchestrated, guided. You see the temperance is the divine guidance. It's your angel who is working overtime for you in the background there, um, trying to put the pieces in order in the 5D, 3D, in the 5D non-physical realm. Um, so it's going to take a little bit of patience, a little bit of balance, a little bit of divine timing to get this offer to come in here so you might feel a little bit maybe frustrated because maybe there's a delay um but please do rest assured that you are being divinely guided here okay some of you are dealing with the sagittarius temperance sagittarius this can be you but i feel like you are probably waiting for an opportunity here an opportunity to make you grow, an opportunity that gets you to a higher level, a higher position maybe in a, in a career or you're waiting for a loan to come through, you're waiting for money to come in, you're waiting for an offer and commitment. The Ace of Pentacles can, can also speak of um, moving, okay, because this is tangible. We're talking about pentacles here, so anything that we can touch, you know, being in a commitment, being in a new job, moving, finances, abundance. What can my collective expect in the middle of the week, spirit? The moon. So, guys, at the beginning of the reading, I, I, I wanted to let you know that there's going to be some energies coming through this week. Now, I haven't looked at the astrology. I don't remember exactly the planets and how they're shifting and how they're aligning and all the crazy stuff that's happening in the stars but i do feel it energetically so some of you might feel a little bit more down you know more depressed more sad uh feeling feelings of, of being lonely or alone um this is the moon cycles and phases so when we come to the middle of the week here with the moon I feel like some of you are just going going to go through a temporary cycle, a temporary phase where you're not feeling so hot, okay? The moon, yeah, you feel like a little bit, stag there's stagnation, things are not moving, and it's kind of getting you to feel a little bit stressed out and fearful. The moon speaks of fears. Why? Because something's hidden from us. We don't have... We don't have the full picture in front of us, okay? But trust that the universe, that your spirit guides, that your angels are trying to put everything in place. And sometimes this takes time. And also remember that other people who are involved in the situation have free will. So they cannot go against their free will. When we come into this body and incarnate into this physical realm, we have a choice so they have to respect that you understand so the moon might make us feel a little bit you know dark 
it's the shadows, but it's a cycle, it's a phase. And every cycle and phase has its ending. It's temporary if you feel that way. But for me, it's feel, it feels like more because there's a stagnation, there's a delay, there's there's a lack of information, there's something that's being hidden when the moon comes. So it, it, it can cause a little bit of fear and anxiety. What other information do might do my collective need to know? Yeah. The Ten of Wands with the Moon. So it's telling me that it's a little bit overwhelming and stressful. Like I like I felt. Maybe it feels like you have to hold all of these pieces together on your own. You see, Nine of Pentacles speaks of independence. Maybe you feel like everything is on your shoulders, basically. Okay, like you're alone in this. But rest assured that you are not. You can always ask for support from your spirit team, from the universe. You are a co-creator. You are never alone. I'm going to read you a, an affirmation that I have read in my recent book, my recent purchase. I'll, I'll read it to you. I'll show it to you. What does my collective need to know? What messages do they need to know for Friday and the weekend coming up? <laughs> With that Queen of Swords and the Emperor. This is a lot of bossy energy, guys. Damn. Okay, Queen of Swords. Like, we've seen her very often in my last few readings. If you can remember, Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, combined with the Emperor. I mean, oof, we got a very strong pair here, guys. Now, is this you, the Queen of Swords, whether you're male or female? I mean, okay, so there's two stories here. The Queen of Swords here is pointing in the Emperor's direction. Maybe you need to communicate a little bit better, my dear. When it, If you're communicating or you're uh, connecting with a uh, boss, a father figure, the Emperor is someone who rules authority figures. So again, employer, father figure, it can be an Aries that you are dating or that you're connecting with. Some boundaries and some communication need to be established here. Let's get one more. That's really, uh, whew, two, this is like a powerhouse of an energy here. Oh, we got another person coming in. Okay, King of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. King of Cups might have feelings, but doesn't know how to express them. Might be very stoic. Could be the Aries. Might be very stoic here. Very in control. You know, appears to have all his emotions in control. But no, you, you can't bullshit me. If you're going through this type of an energy, then... You're going through some stress, peeps. Um, some of you might have to make a final decision. Judgment tells me that this is a final decision. Judgment call. Because you're at a crossroads. You're choosing a path. Okay. Some of you, I just got... Maybe you might have two options. You might have this King of Cups, which can be this Cancer Pisces Scorpio, like I said, doesn't have to be, but just this, you know, very in, you know, looks like he's in control of his emotions, doesn't really express them, um, can be a little bit moody as well, sensitive with their emotions. That's why they don't really wear their, their emotions on their sleeve. The King of Cups. Or you got the Aries, the Emperor. So you've got an option here on which path to take here. Because you're at a crossroads. Choosing a path. Making a decision about what path to take. With the Wheel of Fortune, it's telling me that things will move forward, guys. But if we don't make a decision, because this is telling me decisions must be made by the end of the week then the wheel of fortune will not turn 
events will not keep moving. Okay, so let's get some more messages for my beautiful collective. Thank you so much for everybody who's been supporting me and messaging me um, on Instagram and emailing me for personal readings and asking me questions about my bracelet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please do check out my website, mintuitiontarot.com if you haven't yet. Um, yeah, we worked really hard on that website, so check it out. Um, let's take a look, guys. Monday and Tuesday. I mean, Monday is already done for us here in Montreal, Canada. Okay, so some of you, it's no. You gotta wait. So no, okay, no. No. So basically, whatever is... <laughs> being presented to you, it's a no. Not the right time, not the right person, not the right job, not the right choice, not the right option. Wednesday and Thursday, what messages do you have for my collective? The situation will improve. So I feel like, yeah, you know, this situation right here, it's burdensome, it's stressful, it's overwhelming. We're like just stuck in our heads and our feelings because the moon does bring up some feelings the shadow sides of ourselves which is not always easy emotionally speaking so they're reminding you that the situation will improve don't get stuck on it this is why i was really drawn to say it's it's a cycle and a phase and it's temporary but we need to put these burdens down though this is what i'm hearing too for the situation to improve we need to put the situations down we need to put these wands down. Let's get one more, guys, for Friday and the weekend. What messages does my collective need to know for Friday and the weekend, Spirit? Abundance. Okay, guys, I feel like the situation will improve and you will receive whatever it is that you need when the time is right. I feel like that's more for Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, yeah, Wednesday and Thursday because it flew here where this card was. So I really go with what I see here. Look for a sign. Yeah, some of you are asking, but which way to choose? You know, which way to go? Which path to take? Because there's a judgment call. Maybe some of you are being approached by a boss, an employer, or when it comes to love, you have two people here, guys. You have two options. Okay. Um, I think you need to remove your emotions out of the equation. Okay. This is something I forgot to say. Queen of Swords is emotionally detached. She really looks at the facts and is very rational, very logical. Okay. So... If it's a time to set boundaries with people and communicate that, well, go for it. Because the Queen of Swords cuts through the bullshit, cuts cuts people out, off or cuts people out if necessary. If need be. If they're not acting correct. So look for a sign. Some of you, again, you know, I've been channeled this sign, this message about signs. And this is why I posted this on my Instagram but if the signs come to you and you don't believe them and you don't trust them, then again, that's free will. That's your choice. But they're coming. They're there for you. It's all about you opening up to them. Romance. Yeah, this has to do a lot for a lot of you. Uh, a romantic situation here. Whether or not you're going to choose person A, person B. You gotta, you gotta look for a sign. You gotta feel what is right for you. Um, what am I feeling? How many minutes do we got? Okay, let me get one more. What messages do you have for my collective spirit for this week coming up? Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Mm -hmm. It's time to disconnect from the world. Children. 
Okay, for some of you, you have spirit guides who are children, who are very young. And who are trying to get you to lighten up. This can be unborn children, guys. I know it's freaky for some of you who are not used to hearing this. But yeah, this is unborn children for some of us who, have, who don't have any children. These are unborn children that are guiding us in the 5D, in the spiritual realm. And want us to have fun and lighten up. And I think they want, I think they're guiding you guys. They're guiding you towards this person. This is what's helping you be more light and fun and less serious. Because in the middle of the week, it feels very serious and very draining. It's time to disconnect from the world. So maybe some of you need some rest. Rest and fun okay so good balance between rest and fun retreat meaning you know going into hermit mode retreating when things get too serious and too heavy well your inner child needs some love for some of you this is speaking of your inner child so really giving your inner child some love and paying attention to you know those traumatic events or the you know the the patterns that are now surfacing coming to the surface uh, dealing with that emotional trauma and not suppressing suppressing those issues true love yeah i really do feel like some of your your uh i'm see i'm hearing inner guidance inner guidance but it's it's guides it's your guides young guides young children that are guiding you towards this but I feel like there's a little bit of a disconnect. You feel disconnected. Yeah, for some of you, it's this. You feel disconnected. But because you're not tapping in to your energy, which is supposed to be fun and lighthearted. And this is what spirit wants us to do. Spirit does not want us to suffer. It's our choice if we want to suffer. Um, this is what they want you to experience connection connection with other people a true deep connection with other people look we have another spirit guy we have an angel who's guiding this connection whether or not this connection has happened guys it is being it is happening behind the scenes so i hope these messages were uh helpful insightful if you want to book a personal reading just go to my web website mintuition.com or just email me all my information is always in the description box below. And um, yeah, I think that's all I had to say. I am so tired, guys. Please have a great week and I'll see you next time. Take care.